Hello, thank you for your purchase of the Zoic Paleotech Bronto Air Scribe. It is the most powerful air scribe in our range and designed to get you through the boring bits of matrix removal and down to the fossil where you want to have some actual fun. So, in the box, you will find the user manual. Please read this thoroughly as it is the paper version of this video. A small maintenance pack containing four spare o rings for the stylus, some air tool oil, and some o ring grease. The hose with its pressure regulator and male quick connect, and the tool itself in its protective sleeve. We know that the first thing you'll probably want to do is assemble your tool and plug it in. So, what you'll want to do is take the end of the air hose, push it forward into the push fit, and that will lock it in place. If you do need to take it apart, you can press these blue tabs and remove the air hose. On your compressor you will most likely have two, two pressure dials. The larger one shows you how much pressure you have inside the tank. The smaller one gives you the outlet pressure in your line. Before plugging in your tool you, you would, uh, it would be best to make sure that you have no line pressure as it will make it easier to slide in the mail connector. In order to attach the tool, you want to slide the, the mail connector into the female quick connect until this particular sleeve comes forward and locks the assembly in place. After that, you can turn on the compressor and now you see the line pressure. Here you will also see the pressure that you have after the pressure regulator. You can adjust it with the knob on top Moving the, moving the knob clockwise turns the pressure up, moving it counterclockwise turns the pressure down. Initially, you'll want to have the pen set at approximately 30 psi or 2 bar. This pressure will drop due to the pressure drop as the pen, as the pen is turned on. In order to turn the pen on, you take this valve and you move it forward. <laughs> want them to slowly raise the pressure up to 30 psi. The maximum pressure that the Bronto was made to run at is 2.5 bars. Under no circumstances should the, should the pen be used at higher pressure than, than that. This is an exceptionally powerful, powerful tool and it does not need higher pressures. Please again do not run it any higher than 2.5 bars. If you haven't used this type of tool before, you will find that it does take a bit of getting used to. It runs at maximum 2.5 bar, and what you need to remember with it is to be just positive with it. Don't try to push it, as the stylus needs room to reciprocate. Just be positive with it and let it do the work, and it will do so at a faster pace than any other tool. So, let me just show you how this works. As you can see, I'm not pushing, I'm just guiding the tool along its way, and you can see the dimension of chip it is capable of lifting off the matrix. It is designed to be used one-handed, but you can use both hands to steady it if you so desire. Certain types of rocks, you might find that the best way to remove a large amount of rock quite fast is to do sort of a scooping motion in, into the rock. Because of the 5mm diameter tungsten carbide stylus, this is a lot more, a lot tougher than um, other pens. Therefore, you can lean on it a bit harder should you need to. But again, try not to lever cracks open with it or try to use it at 90 degrees. If you do use it at 90 degrees, you will find that there's a lot more vibration in the pen 
as the chips cannot break, all of the force is going to be transmitted upwards and into your hand. So 45, 50 degree angle to the matrix, that seems to work best. And as we have found for most situations, the rounded chisel is probably the best all-rounder. Due to the high power levels of this particular tool, we recommend that you do not use it on specimens that you know to be fragile, so ammonites that have empty, empty chambers, or generally very fragile fossils. If you do, make sure that there is about an inch or two of matrix on top of them that you wish to remove with this, but we would recommend going not closer than, let's say, about half an inch to 10 millimeters from the fossil itself it is, if it is particularly fragile. The impacts uh, through this pen do tend to shatter the rock and will shatter the fossil if you try to work too close with it. Please always bear in mind this is solely a roughing tool. The Bronto Air Scribe comes with a variety of, of, uh, of styli. At the moment we have a rounded chisel in the tool. You can buy additional, uh, additional chisels or select from any, any of the options available. In order to change the stylus, you will need a 16mm spanner, alternatively an adjustable spanner. You slide it over the head, take the head off, and remove the stylus, inserting another one if, if you so desire. When reinserting it, if you're doing this on, in your workshop, it's best to stay away from piles of rock, chips and dust. Insert it into the pen and you will notice this has a hexagonal shape which locks into a female hexagon within the body of the pen. Give it a slight twist to make sure that the two lock together. Make sure that they don't spin. Put the head back on. Screw it all the way back. And just give it a very small tight with the spanner. Do not try to over tighten it as the vibrations will tighten the head even further and it will be very difficult to get it off. The first thing with basic maintenance of the Bront Bronto Air Scribe is if you use it every day for long periods of time, we highly recommend that you put one or two drops of the supplied air tool oil in the male connector. You will need to do at most just one or two drops and that will suffice. If you are using an oiled compressor you hardly need to do this. And slide it forward and the pen is ready to use. The reason why we apply the oil at this end of the connector, at the male end of the connector, is because the filter inside keeps most of the oil and atomizes it so you only have an oil mist coming through the line thus ensuring that you do not get any form of oil on the specimen you are preparing. We recommend that you do not apply the oil at the end of the on-off valve because taking the hose in and out will eventually wear the o-ring that's inside the on-off valve and also there is a chance of flooding the pen with those two drops of oil causing the piston to slow down. So always apply it at this end of the connector. With these types of tools, it is always be best to use less oil than too much, as too much oil will gum up the insides of the, of the tool. Again, very infrequent oiling, and when you do it, just do it very sparingly. You, at no point should you see any oil coming out from the tool. If that happens, you know you've put too much oil in. It is recommended that if you use it every day, maybe once a week, take the head off, Take the stylus out and check the state of the o-rings. Normally you will find that in use they will get compacted together. You will need to take them apart a bit, use some of the supplied silicon grease, apply it liberally on the o-rings. Because of the tremendous blow that the piston imparts within the tool, these o-rings can in time break and compressed air will dry them out. Hence you have four of these spare o-rings, it is a critical point that you always use four o-rings on this stylus. If you do not, the forward stroke will be longer and you might end up dislodging an internal component from the pen which will require you to send it, send it back to us for repair. 
afterwards put the stylus back in making sure that the male hexagon the male hexagon anvil on the stylus locks with the female on the inside put the head back on and again with a 16 millimeter spanner just the lightless lightest tightening and the pen is ready to use the Bronto is a tool that should need little to no troubleshooting please do not try to disassemble the tool as this will void the warranty if you do disassemble it because it is a very complex tool it is all too easy to reassemble it incorrectly or misplace some of the components so best not to try that at all Thank you everyone for, be for bearing with us and for watching this video. Should you have any further inquiries or any clarifications that might be required, please do get in, in touch with us either on our website or, or on the telephone. Thank you very much. Bye.